it is the start of video and my stained pajamas and messy hair. So basically, I got a bullet train for Christmas. I love, love, love it so much. I did not want to do like the setup or January or whatever on here because I'm still figuring it out and I'm still figuring out my bullet journal that I decided I would share with you all my February plan with me and I do plan the entire month ahead. I use this as my school agenda and I just find it better to do it that way and so it is different than an actual bullet journal. If you want to know how everything like that's set up, I would recommend watching the creator of bullet journals or Amanda Richley who is my biggest inspiration. So this theme is party month, party because my birthday's this month so that's the theme that I'm going with. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoy. Let's just go on. Sorry for this. Wow. <laughs> So on the cover page on the left, I decided to do a quote and that quote is life is a party because life is a party and I just used, um, I don't know, it's a pen that my friend Emily Sample gave me for my birthday like two years ago from Target and that's just what I'm using to outline everything and then on the right, I, in the words February, which apparently I have been spelling February wrong, and I apparently spelled it wrong throughout this entire full, like, bullet journal, and I spelled a lot of other things wrong, so be prepared for that. Like, it's my birthday month, how do I not know how to spell it? But apparently I don't, so I just drew a pinata and balloons, and then some different sized presents and bows and blah 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 blah, blah, blah at the bottom, so that's just what I did. And then flipping over to the next page where you see the word February spelled wrong. Again, I decided to have my monthly spread like individual. So I'm pretty sure that they're all six by seven boxes and I wanted them to look like presents. And then here we have my like trackers and my YouTube banner ideas so for my mood tracker I had this great idea to make it like a confetti cannon and then the different shades of confetti is what my mood was and I'm really digging it so that's just what I did and then for my words I decided to have mood tracker and like up and down word like I can't speak letters and then also have uh, balloons. Also, I'll have you know I painted my nails just for this video. Um, what I found from bullet journaling is when you're looking up how to draw things on Google, just really type in like here, uh, I think I typed in Canon, simple drawing, easy, doodle, fast, and it just like gives the best results. And then for the numbers for the mood tracker, I just had them like, I started to have like one, two, three, four, like all of them close together. And then I was like, nah, so then I moved them all over. And then for my habit trackers, I spelled words wrong again, but I just did a little cake with each of the three habits that I'm trying to hack, track, and then the frosting part is where I kept the word that I'm trying to track, and then the banners is just what it is. And then this next page, Sarah Leffler actually did for me. Thanks, Sarah. I can't find the photos that you did, but whatever. And then in the corner, just a little present because I like to have places to put where all of my tests or like projects or like big things are due. And then this spread is really simple. It's just like a banner across with the days and stuff. And then the balloons are where I'm going to be writing like Spanish quiz on Friday, science tests on Monday and stuff like that because I like to have those separate so I just know like what I need to study for that week and whatever. And then in the corner, I just do drew a little like present box with a uh, overview of the month because I like to have an overview of the month. And then on the next page, I got this inspo. Well, actually I got all my inspo from Pinterest so you guys should follow me on Pinterest. The, it'll be in the description. 
but in the corner I just did another monthly calendar I am really good at writing out the month of February now and then the little dashes and things where I can put my test quizzes and stuff then I split it up into sections I don't really use rulers because I tried using it and I just I like the flow of it it just looks like I don't know I like it better with the mess if that makes sense and then in the top I did little doodles of like birthday things so I have a party hat presents and stuff that I just flipped the page so I guess you're not gonna see it in the right corner of this spread I did a another monthly layout thing overview and I'm going to add a drop shadow to it and then for this I just kept it really simple just wrote the days of the week and then over and this week I'm actually going to Disney so the spaces could be smaller and you will see in a few seconds that I'm going to actually or actually I don't know if I put it in here but whatever I actually wrote out the word so Disney, here is the uh, final we'll flip through we have life is a party and a little February cover page then when you go to the next side you get my monthly spread which looks a little bit more like cupcakes than presents but it's okay and then we have my mood trackers my YouTube ideas and my habit trackers uh, my first monthly spread thank you Sarah for doing this for me uh, my second week Uh, this is the next week. I don't even know what's happening, but I'm leaving for Disney on the 27th. So that's why this theme is like Disney and I added balloons because yeah, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.